today I wanted to do a quick video answering another one of my more frequent questions I get and that is the brand and size of the dog crates that we use. Now as most of you know that watch my channel a lot my dog crates are all in my bedroom here so I've got Marley, Miggy, Magnums. It, it doesn't stay up there when he's in it. I just put it up there to get it out of the way. Magnums and then Max and Mozzie. Now, if you notice, Mozzie has a slightly bigger crate than the other boys. Mozzie was our first schnauzer, and we weren't sure what size to get. <laughs> so, um, it's a little big, but I was going to get a different one, so they all were the same size, but why? He's had this one his whole life, and it's been fine. So, um, and I keep bath mats if you can see there bath mats on the bottom and then they all have a blankie a nice soft blankie in their crates as you can tell they like to fluff their blankies up so that's why I keep a bath mat at the bottom because those seem to stay on the bottom so there's always something there and they're not laying on plastic which they're a dog they could lay on plastic but I don't want them to you know because they're my babies <laughs> But I've noticed the bath mats, they don't really get that scrunched up um, to where it's pulled away from the plastic. So, okay, so let me go with the brands first. Now, this one here, if you notice, I got a different type. I got the plastic type for Magnum. Um, because on the wire ones, if you see here, I have, oh, my phone's ringing. Hold on, guys. Sorry about that guys, my husband found a dog wandering in the parking lot where his office is and took it in and that was the Humane Society calling me back because I knew we couldn't break, it was a big dog and my husband didn't think it'd be friendly to other dogs so we were trying to figure out what were we going to do if we didn't find this owner because we knew we couldn't bring it home with our five dogs and a cat. <laughs> So they were, but we found the owner. Um, I got my husband a leash and he took it out walking on the grass out by the main road. And the owner just happened to be driving by because he was looking for his dog. And he was very appreciative that my husband grabbed him because his office is on a busy road and he would have got hit probably. So that was the Humane Society calling me because I wasn't sure what I was going to do. And I need to know when they closed. <laughs> okay. So anyways, if you see here, I have duct tape on these pieces here because right in here whoops right in here and here are like open spaces and sometimes my dogs would come out fast and their paw would get caught in there and being dogs they didn't know and when I was trying to help them they'd want to keep trying to get out of there and not let me back them up so it was hurting their paw so I put duct tape over these spots here you can see right here, this opening here, that's kind of how it was right here. So I figured with Magnum's crate, I would get these because there's nothing um, for him to catch on. So this was from PetSmart, and it's the Great Choice brand. And these ones, it looks like I covered up the brand name. Let me come over here. Because I think those two over there that I covered up the brand name are a different brand and I'm not sure. Oh, no. One is... Okay. Here we go. I knew I had two different kind. This is the Precision and Dos, Dos, Dos Cusel? <laughs> I'm not sure how to pronounce that. But I know those two over there are one of these brands. Are you going in there, Max? You opening your door? Are you opening your door? You want to go in? You can go in there. You want to go in? Or you think I'm going to put you in there? <laughs> okay, so it's either those two over there or either one of these brands. And I got one at Walmart and I got one at Family Farm and Home. So let me go get a measuring tape and get the measurements of the crate. Okay, I got my measuring tape here. So let's first do across the front and that is 17 inches across the front and the height, would you get out of here? 
<laughs> the height is about 19 and a half. And then the depth, would you call this the depth, is 24 inches. Just a tad over 24 inches. It'll probably say 24 inches on the box. Okay, and let's do magnums. I'm going to go from this lip right here. 27 inches depth. And the width is about 19 inches. And the height is, eight, I'd say 18. Okay, now I'm going to uh, measure Mozzie's too in case you have a bigger dog. My dogs all weigh between, uh, they range from 19 to 21 pounds. So if you have a dog bigger than that, you may want Mozzie's side. So let me turn my camera around. Let's see here. And let's measure Mozzie's bigger crate. Don't you bite my tripod. Magnum. No, you don't bite my tripod. <laughs> okay. The depth on Mozzie's is 30 inches. The width, 19. And the height, 21. So, there you go. That's the uh, brand names and the sizes of the boys' crates. Um, let me take my camera off. Hold on. So hopefully this video was helpful for those who want to know what kind of crates and size I use. I'm going to be putting these videos, these short videos, into a playlist called, I'll probably title it, Frequently Asked Questions. That way I can refer to them um, when I get the questions. I can link them to these videos. So, all right guys, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.